All right. F-350. Take three. <laughs> yes, you heard me correctly. This is my third time trying to make this video. I'm not having technical difficulties. I'm having, I don't know when to shut the hell up difficulties. So anyway, this video is about the bumper. Or, sorry, grill. Um, <clears throat> I did install some lights in the grill. Uh, I'll turn it on here in a second. Mainly, I just painted this today. Uh, this is um, bed liner, Rust-Oleum, just simple bed liner. And I like the way it turned out. Just right here. Uh, this was the last area I sprayed. The wind started picking up, so it kind of pushed it. Because everything else is uniform except that one area. It's not a big deal. You know, you kind of back up at a diff distance. You don't even see it. Uh, I got this truck, I think, almost a year ago. Next month will be one year of me owning this truck. Um, it came with the bull bar. I want to replace it. Um, I'd like to either get a black one or uh, get one. You know, this one's all bent uh previous owner or the owner before them probably did it not sure don't care um but I'll, I'll paint it black i'll actually bedline it but i did put the um, light bar on there um let's see here the cab over lights or clearance lights did that replace the windshield replace the fenders uh put new mirrors on it the old mirrors were crap uh, installed the running rails here. I do want to put uh, lights in the running rail. I've seen a couple of videos on them doing that. Turned out pretty good. So I want to give a, a shot at... Give it a shot myself. Um, I'm going to reupholster this seat or get another seat. But this is an XL, as you can see. Manual locks, manual windows, but I did install this seat and I wired it up myself. Yes, it works. It's just, there we go. There's a bunch of stuff back here and it's hung up, so that's why it's not going forward or backwards. Um, but it does work. I need to clean the back seat of that truck out. Um, there I go again, not knowing when to shut the hell up. I, I ramble. Who doesn't? But there's uh, how it turned out. I say it turned out pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, I got a lot of plans for this baby right here. Um, it's going to end up being painted matte black. Um, and I am putting power windows and power locks in here. I actually already have the door lock actuators i put them in all forward to the doors myself uh so now i just need the plugs and the wiring i actually have the lock switches that i can put in here so when you get an xl model you've got bare bones it's just a work truck also that's why there's no carpet in here it's just a uh, rubber floor but anyway um I'm actually going to wire these mirrors up. That's super easy, super simple. Um, I'm going to wire up the uh, uh, locks, the mirror, or not the mirrors, I already said that. The windows, all you need to do is get a window regulator, two uh, relays, and wire them up to where when you push one side to roll the windows up, one relay engages it, and then it just reverses the polarity on the other relay to let it down. Super easy, super simple. I don't know why there's uh, so many people in the videos that are like, oh, it's so difficult, you know. But No, it's not. But, you know, I've been working on cars for 28 years, so something simple to one person may seem diff difficult to someone else. Um, when I install, because I'm going factory, by the way, that's why I'm saying so many people say it's difficult, so they'll get the aftermarket kits. You don't need to do that. It's super simple. When I install this stuff, I will upload step-by-step -step videos on how to do it. It's not hard. It's not hard at all. It's cakewalk. But anyway, moving on. This truck will be painted matte black. I have an idea about where this crease is on the bottom portion. That runs the length of the, um, the bed and the body. I'm thinking about doing a bed liner on the bottom and matte black 
everything else. I think that would be awesome, especially living uh, in the sticks. We've got gravel out here, not asphalt. So it would actually help protect the paint. As you can see, you know, you've got scratches, scuffs, nicks, all kinds of stuff on the uh, bottom portion of this truck. So um, that actually is a pretty awesome idea. Uh, that's my other truck. These are both O2s. This is an O2 F350. That's an O2 F150. 7.3 liter turbo diesel. 4.6 liter single overhead cam. Two valve. <clears throat> Same as what they put in the Mustangs. Just some slight vari uh, differences. Uh, and I actually used to have a Mustang before I had this. Um... I've done so much to this truck, it's not funny. I will make a separate video going over all the things I've done to this truck. Um, I'll just leave it at that because there's way too much to name when this video is just about this truck. But um, there's a, a whole lot to come with this truck. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm not trying to get big. There's way too many people out there with channels that, uh, you know, their trucks or their cars or whatever. And, you know, the rat race, that's not me. Uh, I'm more of the laid back. Um, you know, I'm going to do something pretty cool. You know, if I think that it's something that's uh, extravagant or... Uh, some people would consider it difficult. I would make a video because I noticed there's not a lot of videos on, uh, you know, what I just mentioned earlier about the door locks, um, going factory, this truck being an XL, that's an XLT, by the way, uh, all the bells and whistles you can think of. Um, this is an XL. I'm trying to turn it into an XLT, I guess you could say. Um, there's what you call a, um, I think it's a VSM, yeah, vehicle security module that the um, windows and the locks are tied into after a certain year. Because prior to that year, they used a GEM module that they tied the locks and windows into. Uh, I'm not doing all that. Uh, I'm just going to uh, do my own thing. Uh, like I said, I'll make a video, step-by-step -step instructions, uh, mock-ups, uh, printouts, whatever you need, the works, basically. Because I was looking for this information myself, you know, for the person that may not have as many years' experience working on a vehicle, found next to no information whatsoever, so I figure I'd help out my fellow neighbor. <laughs> and, um you know, give my insight and then maybe someone else can tweak it and make it even more simple than how I put it out there. But, uh, stay tuned guys, uh, more to come. Definitely next. I'm probably going to go ahead and pull this bumper off here in the next couple days. Um, as you can see, there's a large portion of paint there missing large, you know, chips missing over there. So I'll probably just pull this bumper off unless I can figure out a way to pull this up. Uh, without pulling the bumper, I'll figure it out. But either way, I'm going to get that off of here, uh, sand it down, and go ahead and uh, turn that matte black. Give you an idea of what the entire truck is going to look like in the future. Uh, but I'm super excited. I really am. Because um, the Mustang I had, it was an 03 Mustang GT. Of course, 4.6 liter single overhead cam, 5 speed. And I modified the ever living heck out of it. Um, you know, like most people with those uh, new edge Mustangs, they ran out of ideas, got bored, didn't want to copy someone else's modification. So, uh, of course family, uh, expanded. So I needed something practical. A Mustang's not practical and having two car seats in the back of that, no one's comfortable. No one's comfortable. Just saying. So, you know, got the O2 F350, um, crew cab rather than extended cab or super cab as some people call it got the uh, crew cab everyone's got plenty of leg room head room whatever room <laughs> um, but yeah this truck is awesome uh, and like I said more to come but anyway I'm not going to keep rambling on 
Thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing well. Later, Gators.